Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So as you can see, I have my iPhone over here. And in today's video, we're going to be trolling Apple. Troll Store is an app that allows you to permanently sign IPAs so you can sideload any app that you want and they'll be permanently signed. It uses arbitrary entitlements and root helpers because it trolls Apple, as the name suggests. So this can be used on jailbroken and non-jailbroken iPhones and it allows you to permanently sign any IPA so you can have any sideloaded app permanently instead of being limited to the apps on a non-developer account and it lasting for like a week or something like that before it expires. So I used to use Alt Store, which uh, allows you to silo any IPA. But my problem with that is that it's only on Windows and Mac and I'm on Linux most of the time. And also uh, limited to three apps and well, it's not permanently signed. So recently, Trollstore updated to version 2.0, which allows even more iOS versions to install Trollstore with some exploits. So in today's video, we're going to be installing Trollstore onto my iPhone and hopefully it doesn't take that long and nothing goes wrong. Anyways, so Trollstore. Yep, yep. So currently my phone is on iOS 16.1.1 because of course I used to take advantage of the Mac Dirty Cow exploit which allowed more than three uh, sideloaded apps on a non-developer account. But obviously with Trollstore, we don't have that. We don't need to deal with that anymore. Anyways, we're gonna head on to the GitHub and uh, or I'll guide that I have saved over here and we're gonna see if we can install Trollstore. Here we go. Installing Trollstore with Troll Installer MDC. All right, we're gonna need that the tips apps installed, which if we check over here, yep, under my unused app section, cool. So we're gonna need side loadly and troll installer MDC. So really quick, I'm gonna head on to install side loadly, which I can cause I'm on Linux. Um, that's a bit of a struggle. Um, let's see if I can go into a VM, right? All right, so now I'm in my Windows VM. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly install uh, side loadly onto this. So Windows 64 bit download and we can also install iTunes for Windows 10 and troll installer MDC. So go ahead, download all that and yeah, Windows Defender found threats. Oh no. So we got to open up side loadly, which we already have installed. So let's go open that up. And okay. These admin. Yep. Yep. Allow that. Yep. Oh, got to download the iCloud web versions too. Okay, now that iCloud has been installed, we're gonna restart later and press yes again to re-download Andy set. And hopefully the error is fixed. All right, cool, no errors. All right, so we obviously gotta connect my iDevice first. So let's go ahead and plug this in here and plug it into my computer. It should appear. Yep, Apple Inc. iPhone, let's plug that in. Maybe we should reload side loadly. Um, well, iPhone is here, but isn't detecting anything. Hold up. I mean, to be fair, I could just go into Windows, but uh, come on. Let's uh, check device manager and see what's up. MTP USB device. Uh, well, hold up. Actually, wait. I believe I could install the drivers manually if I extract this, which I don't have 7 zip installed in here, which I will install. Could be that the Apple mobile device support app uh, driver did not install properly, because I've had that happen before, but to be fair, I'm plugging this device into my PC, which is running Linux, and then passing it through my VM. So uh, honestly, wouldn't be surprised if something's broken, but oh well. Let's go ahead, go here and install this. And I think there's something in here that we need, we could also install. Oh, wait, what, wait, oh, we're setting up iPhone. Wait, that just randomly happened. Wait, what? I was just doing some research. Wait, okay. I guess Windows found the driver for me or something like that. I'm gonna see if that detects anything or actually fixes anything. Okay, I found the name of it. I'm blind, so let's try installing this. Operation completed successfully. Okay, and oh, there we go. Apple mobile device USB drivers installed. Um, all right, cool. 
but there's a driver error and I have no idea if this will still work. So let's just see if uh, silo lead detects anything. If not, I'll go ahead and restart the computer real quick. Okay, nothing. The driver's having issues. Uh, I'm going to go look at this guide real quick. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and copy those driver files from the downloads. Alright, really quick, I'm gonna go ahead and restart my computer, my VM. No devices detected. And yeah, looks like that it will not work because I'm passing it through, so like... Alright, well, um, looks like I'm gonna have to count to Windows. Damn it. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, I don't need side load leads specifically, I could just find something for like uh linux that i can sideload so let me search for an app that i can use to sideload stuff because there's definitely a program out there to sideload ipas so i could either install side server which is alt store or i could use this which we're gonna try all right this is archived i don't know if that means that's it's not gonna work or not so we're gonna go ahead and install libby mobile device Oh, wait, iDevice installer is already installed. Can I just use it just like that? Okay, hold up. iDevice installer and then just the IPA. So dot slash troll installer MDC dot IPA. I guess dash I. Yep. No device found. Oh, there we go. Copying and oh, install failed. No code signature found. Ah. Ah, oh, this is so much harder to do on Linux. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna try installing this side server for Linux. Let's install the Debian package from something that does not exist. What? And then run the Python script. Here we go. Alt Linux. Um, no idea what happened. Uh, let me just try to run that again nope something's wrong of course uh, I'm gonna have issues okay let's go into github actions and let's get that which apparently is a flat pack and let's launch it I forgot to install a dependency hold up and that doesn't exist. What the hell? Okay, what was it asking? Lib AD. Okay. We got this. Alright. Mark for installation. Mark. And apply. Alright. Oh, there we go. iPhone. Yay. Alright. What's one what's under additional tools? Oh, whatever. Alright, install application. Let's go. Alright. Downloads. Alright. Install application. Alright videos there we go and log into apple account all right okay please enter the code receipt uh yes this is me yes allow uh six two three two oh five all right now it's fetching its stuff yep all right now it's installing the app all right promising application successfully installed okay finally jeez now that we have this, all right, let me go ahead on UX play again. Okay, so now we're here. We have <laughs> Pole Installer MDC, best app in history. Yep. Trust Apple ID. Yep, okay. Uh, device management. That. And trust myself. Now that I've trusted myself, we can now open up the app. Okay. Uh, if you've already opened tips, reboot your device. Okay, I haven't opened up tips, so let's go into here. Press OK to continue on sandboxing. Yeah, okay. I was 15 detected attempting on sandbox. Yep, yep. Brought to you by D8, D Hinak. Yeah, C was for credits. I'm sorry, I barely have a clue how to do iOS UI. Relatable. UI design is not my passion, so it's just working right now. All right. Backing up, please open the tips app now. Now we head over here to the tips app and 
and sold troll store. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's sold in troll store and now it's going to cold boot, so which will obviously kill the screen share. So we're going to have the webcam now again. Oh, no, that did not kill the screen share. Oh, perfect. Okay. That just did it. Oh, is that it? Okay. Oh, it's called respring, not cold boot. Okay. Troll store should now be installed. Okay. Oh, here it is. Troll store. Oh, yes. Let's open this up. And yep, yep. It's doing stuff. Uh, we have to head on settings. Install persistence helper. I gotta choose something useless. And now we have troll store. Oh my goodness. Well, that took a bit longer than expected because I'm not on Windows, but yeah, we now have troll store. I have successfully trolled Apple. Let's go. So yeah, as I've said, uh, that was a bit more convoluted than usual because I'm on Linux. I could have saved so much time by like, you know, taking five seconds to reboot into Windows and then alt store to silo it. But you know, you know, whatever. Uh, I love making stuff much harder for myself than it should be. So thanks so much for watching me uh, struggle to insult troll store. Comment, like, subscribe, do whatever. Check out my other videos or whatever. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. We have successfully trolled Apple. Bye. That was a bad throw. Let's do that again. Ah, I didn't get into the camera. Okay, let's try that again. Eh, close enough. But let's try again. Nah, gotta be on the camera. Okay. I mean, that kind of worked, but it went upside down. I want it upside. All right. That works.